In this video, we'll balance the equation for C4H10O plus O2. So this is a combustion reaction. This could be N-butanol or a number of different compounds, but either way, we'll balance it the same way. We'll get the same balanced equation. So we'll count the atoms up and balance. C4, we have 10 hydrogens and we have one oxygen here, but be careful, we have these two here. So we have a total of three. Product side, we have the one carbon and then we have two hydrogens and then oxygens, we have two plus the one. So we have a total of three oxygen atoms. Probably best to leave the oxygens till last. Let's do the carbons. If we put a four in front of the CO2, we'd have one times four. That would balance the carbon atoms. And then for the hydrogens, that stays the same oxygen. We'd have to update that. So now we have two times four. That's the eight plus the one out here. We have nine. Let's deal with the hydrogens here. We could put a five in front of the H2O. So we have two times five, that would give us 10. So we've balanced the hydrogen atoms. We need to update the oxygens. Two times four is eight plus one times five, that's 13. And so everything was going well until we got here. So this is where it gets tricky. Now we know that we have an oxygen, we have O2 by itself. So we can fix the oxygens by putting some number, even a fraction in front of the oxygen. So let's think about this like an equation. We have our one oxygen here. So we're gonna say one plus some number will equal 13. So one plus 12, that equals 13. So if we put a six here, six times two, that would give us the 12. One plus 12 equals 13. This is the balanced equation here for the C4H10O plus O2. The key here really is to leave the oxygens till last and then kind of think of this as an equation to how you'll get the same number of oxygens on each side. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.